Hello YouTube friends, Chrissy here at A Little Glam, A Lot of Mom. Many of you requested another Learning with Blocks video, so that's what I'm sharing with you today. If you missed the first Learning with Blocks video, I'll share that in a card up above and link it down below for you. Today we are working on math with some blocks. In this lesson, we practiced add-ins of 10 with addition equations then subtraction with taking away the subtrahend from the minuend to give a difference. It's plus four is ten. Ten take away four is what? Six. What about ten take away one? Nine. What about ten take away two? We did the same for the number 13 and also incorporated the calculator tool for subtraction. And to show work, I provide a clipboard with a blank sheet of paper and invite Bella to jot down her equations. This next clip is Noah's first even and odd lesson. So the challenge here was for Noah to stack towers of even and odd, and he loves stacking and he loves challenges. Uh, so for this even and odd lesson, I paired our sum blocks, blocks with loose parts. And the way that I presented this lesson is even numbers will always have a pair, whereas the odd number will always have one that's alone. So the loose parts are just a tactile representation of this concept for Noah. So once I introduce a concept, I do like to take a few days after to review it. So that's what we're doing today with Noah. But I also wanted to show you how we substitute a worksheet for hands-on math. This is an old curriculum book by the good and the beautiful math level K that belonged to Bella. She completed just about every lesson and worksheet in here during her kindergarten year. With Noah, I am stepping out of the worksheets, but still using the lessons as a guide if I need to. So the idea in this worksheet is to count the fish in the bowl, write the number of fish in the handwriting line provided, and finally circle if the number of fish are an even or odd number. The materials we're using to substitute the worksheet are some blocks, and with these blocks, Noah can touch them, feel the natural wood material, feel its weight, its height, its value comes alive. We're also pairing it with loose parts and even an odd flashcards. Really, this is just notepad paper I wrote on. And a common Montessori material called a sand paper tray. I used flour, which was what I had on hand. We can go about this several ways. I prefer to have Noah pick up the number he wishes to explore. Let's say it's nine. Count out the loose parts as he would the fish on the worksheet and sort or categorize it under even or odd. 
or we can follow the flow of the worksheet, which is uh, encouraging the child to first count out the loose parts. And let's go with three, for example. Then the child can identify the number out of our sum blocks basket and categorize it under even or odd. Finally, practice handwriting. For this next lesson, we are utilizing jumbo popsicle sticks as greater, less than, and equal symbols and pairing it with our sum blocks. So I laid out rows of numbers for Noah and with the popsicle sticks, he was to create a greater, less than, or equal sign if the numbers are equal. I did end up hot gluing two sticks together to make a greater or less than symbol and that seemed to work out well for Noah. My Bella wanted in on the fun, so I modified the activity to her skill. Instead of just one number, I laid out two numbers, so she would need to add both numbers together, add the greater, less than, or equal symbol according to the sum. practicing addition with Noah, uh, again substituting another worksheet from the Good and the Beautiful Math, um, level K, and this is domino addition. So for this activity we used our large wooden domino set and our sum blocks. The concept here is really simple, we're adding both sides or halves of the domino together. Uh, and so what I did with Noah is once he's done with uh, counting each side, the one to one, we'll add that add in number uh, to each side. So five plus five equals 10. And then I'll have Noah check his work by adding the sum, sum blocks block to uh, his add-ins. Um, because as I explained in the previous video, the height of the sum blocks represents its number value. So for example, the height of two number fives together would equal to the height of the number 10. All right, friends, so there you have five ideas for math activities using some blocks block set. I hope that today I have inspired you to move beyond the worksheets and curriculum boxes and make our children's work meaningful. I want to end on this note that worksheets do have a place in learning and it can work wonderful for some children. However, I found that this was not the case for my younger children. Worksheets actually disengaged my learners and left them wanting more meaningful living work. And so that's the beauty of homeschooling, right, is that we can tailor our approaches to the unique children we have been given.